Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. As we reflect today on the murder of six million Jews murdered in the Holocaust, we've heard today, shamefully, how anti-Semitism is still increasing, and it's shameful that armed guards are often felt necessary to guard synagogues in London. And that is something that should be part of our reflections today. Currently, we see another genocide being carried out against the Uyghur population, which is unfolding before our very eyes, showing that great evil is still very much a feature of our world. The theme of this year's commemorations, Be the Light in the Darkness, is not just a light of goodness and hope, but the light that we must shine into those darkest corners of the world, whether they be in Europe, Asia, Africa, or anywhere else where hatred lurks and seeks to destroy others. Sadly, genocide is not something which is part of our history. It is with us today. And the world rightly condemns the atrocities against the Uyghur population, which has chilling parallels to what happened in Europe in the 1940s. It is our moral duty to do everything in our power to stand up to those who violate basic human rights, however powerful they may be. In the world today, nation states which perpetrate such evil must not, must, must not be glad-handed. They must not be gently coaxed as we seek to sign trade deals. Such states who perpetrate such evil must not be flattered because we believe them to be powerful and important. We must not tiptoe around leaders or regimes which preside over brutality. There must, there must be no doubt that we will not tolerate genocide, flagrant abuses of human rights and hatred in any form. If we are truly serious about condemning such persecution, this must be reflected in this House supporting the amendment to the Trade Bill seeking to terminate any trade deal with any country committing genocide. There can be no equivocation when it comes to dealing with evil. The Holocaust has taught us that hatred in all its forms does not appear overnight. It is the result of creeping, insidious, manipulative, predatory and strategic campaigning to turn one group against another. That's what happened in Germany in the 1940s to the Jewish people and is the pattern of all such campaigns of hatred. So we must always be aware. So let our light in the darkness not just be a light of hope, but a beacon shining on evil so that it can be fully exposed and challenged wherever it looks.